Grab your blue reagent box out of the fridge and let's start pipetting your plate. Grab a standard pack from your blue box and remove the four tubes inside. To make it even simpler, we've color coded the tubes. For now, you can place them in the tube rack. We'll start with preparing the DTT. Pipette 40 microliters of water into the clear DTT tube. Gently mix by pipetting up and down a few times. This will give you 400 millimolar concentration of DTT solution. Next, we'll prepare the 5X Fluorescent Master Mix. Pipette 20 microliters of the 10X sample buffer into the pink tube and add 20 microliters of the DTT solution you just prepared. Gently mix by pipetting up and down a few times. Now you've got your Fluorescent Master Mix. To prepare the biotinylated ladder, grab the white tube and add 16 microliters of deionized water, 2 microliters of 10x sample buffer, and 2 microliters of the DTT solution we made earlier. Mix and then transfer the contents into the provided blue tube and close the cap. Okay, let's get started on preparing your samples. Combine one part 5X of the fluorescent master mix with four parts of your lysate and a microcentrifuge tube. The final concentration of your lysate will be assay dependent, but we suggest starting with 0.2 milligrams per milliliter if you're running a brand new assay. Take the sample and biotinylated ladder that you've just prepared and place them on a heat block set at 95 degrees Celsius or a water bath for five minutes. Once this is done, just do a quick vortex and spin. Then place them on ice until you're ready to load them onto the plate. By the way, if you're using the system control, you can add 12.5 microliters of the system control primary antibody to your diluted primary antibody. You have the option of using your own secondary antibody, but if you have questions, you can contact us at support at proteinsimple.com or check out our antibody database on the Protein Simple website. And finally, the last thing you'll want to do is prepare your luminol and peroxide. All you'll need to do is combine 150 microliters of each into a microcentrifuge tube and then vortex and place on ice. And that's it. Wasn't that simple? Watch Chapter 4 to learn how to pipette your plate and start west.